So when I got to Korea, they were pulling people off the plane. Dudes that were six foot tall, they were like, come on over here. So they want to present this image to the enemy that the Americans and the South Koreans are huge, right? So he said, hey man, you look tough, you're six foot tall, come on over here. Those guys got stationed right there in the, in the village where it's painted, and their job for eight hours a day is to stand about this far away from the enemy like this. And that's what they do all day long, just sit there and dog the North Koreans. Me, being 5'4", they handed me an M14, and I lived, you know, like in a bunker. Sandbags, you know, dug into the ground for about a year. Just looking at them, you know, through the rifle scope. Making sure uh, nobody walked where they weren't supposed to. That nobody was trying to come over at night. Sometimes they dig tunnels underneath. So, of course, little me. They wanted me to go down in there with a flashlight, look around. And um, when that country got divided, they gave people the choice to go north or south. One village. A village of you know rice farmers right there in the middle and they're not in North or South Korea so you know as a sniper or going on patrols we get um, briefings in the morning and those little kids and everybody in the village we get briefings on what color hats they were supposed to have that day and they knew too just like we did so anybody that's walking around with the wrong color hat you know they might get lit up and what I told, you know, my other history class, we were talking about children around the world, and these kids would come out of that village, we'd clear, um, you know, pass through the minefield. We'd go out at night, set up landmines for them to encounter. In the morning, we'd go out with dogs and mine detectors and try and detect landmines that they put up for us. So once we clear a path, these kids would come out of that village, and that's how they get to school. Walking through a minefield that's been cleared by the Americans. So I was kind of impressed, you know, with that. That, uh, that those are the things that they uh, go through just on their way to school. I don't think they stop at Sonic. They don't get them a Sonic drink. They're just happy to make it through the minefield. So that's kind of what I do. That got us through all the way up to eight. Just a couple of stories. Any other good stories, questions, comments? And see, that's why I'm so cheerful and happy all the time. The United States Army just made me happy. It's filled with love, peace, that kind of thing. So let's have a good day. Talk quietly. It doesn't seem like too awkward. <laughs>